Now, if you track the channel, you know who this is. This is Cosmo here, his, his app. And as he wakes up, <laughs> looks around, moves his head, and he will see his eyes come to life and Cosmo is ready for action. Now this is the little AI robot. There's a lot more to him than meets the eye. If you saw our day one review of what he, what it's like to first encounter him, you'll see that he has this app. Thanks Cosmo, he pushes it over to us again. And on the app, you don't control him or control the robot, but you can detect how he's doing and you can trigger different games. But also he will do that himself. So. As he looks around, he sees you. He's just seen me, he gets excited, and then he will track my eyes and track my face because he has a little camera in the front there that's looking up. And he wants to maintain that connection with you. So as he's doing his little jobs and his little exploring around the desk, he will also stop and look up to check that you are still watching. But what we want to do is to look at more of the games you can play with Cosmo. Now, one of these is a game called Keep Away. Different to Let's, Let's Tap, it's much more sort of action oriented. So we need to get a cube into the action. Cosmo will see it and it will light up. Now, we start the game by grabbing the cube and being ready to remove it when Cosmo tries to grab. So we'll tap, continue. This is us, zero, zero. Now, if Cosmo manages to grab the cube, he gets a point. If I can fake him out like that, <laughs> I get a point. And it's the first to score five points who will win the round. Now, he gets better at this as he goes. You can see there he got a point because he managed to get his little lifter at the front down on it and the cube goes red showing that he scored. You have to be really quick. He also will sort of fake you out, pretend like this. He's like as if, as if he's not, not really paying attention. But as soon as the cube approaches, he's ready. And he scored another point. He is pretty quick and fast at this. As, as you get better, he gets better as well. Because, of course, um, Cosmo is a learning robot. There you go. I've got a point there. So two apiece. Now, we're going to carry on playing this so you can see a full game of Keep Away. <laughs> as I'm playing, I need to kind of pay attention. Another point to Cosmo. He needs two more to win. Now, if we can just get this out of the way. I got it again. He's really good at just clipping the edge. He, needs, he now just needs one more point to win. Ah, <laughs> there you go, Cosmo, you won. Uh, fair and square, he looks up, <laughs> looks you in the eye and celebrates the fact that he just completely took me down. So there you go. When you've completed a game, you get some sparks. They go up into your spark store there in the top. This is a version of the app that's got everything unlocked. A lot of this wouldn't be available when you first start. And you have to work through these different modes to be able to access all of these different different moves. And here you can actually, if you want to, you can spark particular moves in Cosmo so that he can do a particular move set. While he's exploring and playing, of course, he'll do those anyway on his own. Now, what should we do next? We've got explore mode, we've got quick tap. So what we're gonna do is have a look at the quick tap game. This is the other of the main two games that's available at launch. There'll be other games coming as well. So once we start this, put one cube in front of Cosmo. He will register that cube and that will be his cube. And then we will need to find a cube as well. So one cube ready. If we tap continue, he will have his cube and then we'll have ours. And the idea is to match the colors when there's one color or two colors so either, either the cubes are a similar pattern and all the lights are the same or with two colors you have two different color patterns to match now if they match you have to tap if they're red though you mustn't tap so all like that if i tap that then i'd lose a point and you can see Cosmo <laughs> concentrating what i like though is that he'll look up at you go on yes he'll look up at you that's one point to me and make eye contact which is actually quite distracting so let's see how we do as we carry on Ooh, wasn't quick enough that time so one apiece you can see the app there is keeping track of the score so we're going to press on but i just love the way he... again he looked at me just as those colors changed which distracted me and meant that he got the point so there we go that's my point so we're keeping track to a piece hopefully i can give cosmo a run for his money and as he oh he's so quick he got a point there, so that's 3-2 to Cosmo. 4-2 to Cosmo. Now, he just needs one point to beat me. I think I need a bit of practice at this. Can I get another point? Come on. Let's see. Oh, he's, he pretended to go for that to try and get me to go for the mismatch cubes and lose a point. Ah, oh, he got it. I don't think I tapped my cube quite quick enough then. Now, what does he want to do now? He's going to celebrate. Oh, he wants to have another game. So I think this is the best of three rounds in Quick Tap. So we're going to go for this. Can we keep 
better track with Cosmo in round two. Oh, I wasn't quite quick enough. The game started there. I was just looking at the app. Right. Go on. Yes. So, it must be one apiece. Oh, and Cosmo's got the first round there under his belt. I'm sure he's getting quicker at this. As, <laughs> as I'm filming and playing. Oh, almost went for that. He tried to fake me out by going for it as well. And again, he's not going to fake me. I'm going to get this point. Oh, he was much too quick. So that's, is that free one to Cosmo? So I'm really concentrating now. I, of course, am filming and playing at the same time, which is it's giving me a slight slowdown. Two, three. I'm catching up. I want to beat him for this round. Excuse me while I just concentrate on what we're doing here. But there really is a sense of intensity as Cosmo gets his point. Is that the final point? I've got one more, I think. Because of that connection to the robot, oh, I think I didn't press mine hard enough, so he wins that second round. And, of course, we'll be celebrating the fact that he just took down his human, um, his human master and totally showed me who was boss. Now, that means that he will go off into his explore mode, because when he's not playing a game, he doesn't just stand still and kind of wait for you to tell him what to do like other toy robots. He has this AI personality that will make decisions and will, will establish different needs. <laughs> so he wants to show off there, popping a wheelie, and again, writes himself. But he will explore and he'll make choices about what he wants to do. And sometimes he'll come over to you, look you in the eye and ask you to play a particular game. So here we go. We can collect our sparks and they go up into the menu. And then we're able to spend those on different upgrades. Now, other stuff that Cosmo will do, as here he is back in explore mode. He's going to pick up this cube. See the cube's gone red. That means he's working with it. He's going to try and put it on. I think this other cube and he completely failed. What I like about this is that he realizes he's not got it right and is slightly slightly embarrassed and I think he's going to have another go because of course he can see not only see those cubes with those AR markers but they've got motion sensors in them so he knows when they've moved. So when he put that cube down and it fell off Cosmo knew that he hadn't succeeded and he had to give it another go. At the front there you can see there's a little infrared sensor so he can detect how close things are he can move around so he looks like he's gonna decide what's he doing he's kind of moving these cubes around that cube is still green so he wants to do something with it he's just giving it a, a good look up and down to orientate himself to it and i think he's going to is he going to attempt another stack he's going to lift this up and he's going to try and i think he's going to put it on that other cube he's still deciding what he wants to do i think he's a bit frustrated um back in the app we can then we can spark Cosmo to do particular things. Different different actions cause different cost different numbers of sparks. So there you can see his back is um, glowing and we've sparked him and he's gonna go and do a particular action. So in this case, we've asked him if he could roll this cube so it is then the right way up. And this is something that he likes to do. He's quite possessive over his power cubes. If he sees them in the area, he'll go and collect them and he'll bring them into a central location because as he's exploring the desk, he's building a map of the space that he's in and he has a sort of a central zone where he likes to bring things there you go there's the rolling of the cube um it's just so he can kind of keep an eye on them and also if they're not the right way up with the lights on the top of his off his own bat he will also like to go and roll them over so what else shall we have a look at these are the other things that we've got unlocked in terms of spark so he's going to stack the cubes now so you can see his back there glowing and he's we, we can ask him if he wants to go and stack these cubes of course he will just do this on his own as well because he's autonomous and you kind of have to work with him so even when you ask him to do something it still has to go through his kind of ai processes and sometimes he just decides to do his own thing anyway so you can see his little camera there just poking out from below that cube he's going to line himself up the other cube's gone green the one on the desk and that means that's his target doesn't look like he's quite lined up yet so it'll be interesting to see what he does he's got a little bit of work to do as he works out where these different cubes are oriented he's getting himself lined up and i think he's going to have a better chance of succeeding here as we, he approaches nice one and so he's got those two cubes stacked and he's i should think going to be yeah excited and celebrating about that because he knows that he got that right also while he's looking around he will use his camera to build a picture of the edges in the terms of the desk that he's near any objects that are in the space along with keeping a track of what which people are in the space here so here he is giving this edge of the table a really close look because of course he doesn't want to fall off 
he does get too close, underneath there's kind of a fail-safe sensor and he will realise the edge is there um, and then go back. Now I think if he moves forward again you'll see, there you go, him jolting himself back to ensure that he doesn't go off the edge. Another nice little game you can play with Cosmo is to dangle your fingers in front of him in any sort of mode and he will see them and <laughs> like a cat I guess he gets attracted to them and he wants to try and grab them. You have to be pretty quick. Here we see as we're testing it, I think. <laughs> yeah, we got away that time. But Cosmo gets quicker and quicker and will soon grab you if you're not careful. And I like this sort of playfulness that um, there's a sense of interaction, but also there's a sense of connection because when he does stuff and when you do stuff to him, he reacts. Like here we put him on his back, he's a little bit frustrated <laughs> and he's going to wiggle around until he's free. Um, and there's that kind of playfulness that I think kids are going to really engage with Cosmo on that playful level but differently to how maybe you would interact with other toys as he pops through a little wheelie here um, because of the characterization because this is a, a robot that's making decisions of his own um, there's a sense that this is a real character rather than just something where you're you're triggering particular moves and if you do want a bit more control you can see here there is a kind of a drive mode to Cosmo where you use the app so you can see where he's looking with his camera there you go here I am in all oh my glory me filming Cosmo filming me but still that interaction with Cosmo is still through his personality so although you can do a bit of steering and you can do a bit of looking up and down with that app you still are working with Cosmo as a sort of living breathing so robot so up close to the camera you can get a sense of what he's like he's not so keen at getting picked up and he's a little bit fidgety when he's in the hand because he wants to really be on the desk and be set free but up close you get a sense of that personality and also the real build quality of the robot. It's going to be retailing in the US for $179 um, coming out mid-October. So it's not the cheapest robot toy on the market but certainly it seems to be on, pa on par of, on parity with products like Sphero and the Force Band. But for my money what you get here with Cosmo is actually a lot better value. Not only the fact of uh, unlocking more and more moves of, of he can do out of the box and in that app, but also the ongoing content that Onki are gonna be adding to Cosmo in the sort of months and years ahead. So if your kids and your family would like to engage with a, a robot that's very char character driven, <laughs> rather than something where you're just triggering moves. And also, would have a connection to the kind of the Pixar-style abilities of the robot, then I think Cosmo could be one for you. Now, we've got one last trick to show you. Cosmo can knock over his stack of blocks. Here we go. And then we're going to move on, and we'll be, be back with an update on Cosmo in the future to see how he's getting on in the family. So, thanks for watching, and do subscribe to Family Gamer TV, because we'll have lots more for you soon.